All right, guys, so check this out. I got a slime mold here in my garden. There's some more of it. And here's a patch that didn't get wet yet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna water this and I'm gonna show you what happens. You see that? So as soon as, as soon as the water started hitting that slime mold, all of those spores came off of it. It looked like a smoke, that's how many spores there were. And every single one of those spores can grow into a new slime mold. So I'm gonna just zoom in on the grass a little bit. You can kind of see the dusting on there and we'll see if you can see it. I don't know if you can tell that like smokiness, smokiness on the grass is all just spores. Now it's ready to grow in a new slime mold. Here's a picture of some fresh uh, new slime mold. It's, you can see it's bright yellow. It kind of spreads out and seeps. And then once it uh, is old enough and mature enough to reproduce, it'll turn darkish. And you can kind of see it right up there where it's starting to get dark. That means it's almost ready to start releasing its spores. But that's a slime mold, people. The slime mold I just showed you is called dog's vomit slime mold. Very appetizing. Um, slime molds are a pretty diverse group and they're in the kingdom Protista, which is the uh, junk drawer kingdom. And basically what that means is that anything that doesn't fit anywhere else is lumped in there. So you get a lot of weird stuff like slime molds. Some fun facts about it. It is actually a single-celled organism. It has multiple nuclei. Uh, its, its nucleus will divide, but the cell doesn't. The cell just keeps getting bigger and bigger um, until we can actually see it ourselves. Um, they do move. They actively move. They can uh, sense the world around them, and they're actually predators. They're hunters. They, they hunt for bacteria and other microbes, and they will actually squish their little body around to move and chase after it. So. Uh, let that fuel your nightmares for you.